Hey, Scott. Woo! Barn here. Scotch Test Dummies. We got a new Knob Creek. It's called Quarter Oak. Quarter Cask. Wow. Quarter Oak. Quarter Oak. That's it. And we're going to test it. Reading style. I was going to say repeat. Take two. All right, we're in. So what is all this? What's repeat style? What we got doing? together the other day and we shot four videos. Four. Marathon. Four. It was good, too. But what we think happened was the mic is on, but the mic was probably not inserted all the way. You've had that problem in the past. It's, it's been a but while. But it has. Not with the mic. With it pushed all the way in? Well, you didn't push all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so we think it wasn't in all the way. And all we got was nothing. We got, I know, and there was some. You cool, know what I did think about doing was what? that we should have used the the video that's and muted, then just but voiced, improvised it, just yeah. just voiced over yeah. it. We could do that. We did it with four, so we could always do that with one of the other ones. Because there were a couple times where you you deadpan the screen. I had some eyebrow raising going on. Um, I was intrigued, and I couldn't hear what I was saying. <laughs> I was like, "Dang, that looks good." What did we lose there? Yeah, I literally had an eyebrow raise, and then you deadpanned into the camera. I was like, dang, what, what did we miss? Whatever it is, it's gone for all time. Yep, but <laughs> what do you do? Right, we get to redo it. We just get to drink Knob Creek again. That's fine with me. It's good. Uh, so this is Knob Creek Quarter Oak. Mm. And when we shot this before, I didn't know any more than that about it. That's all you knew. And I still don't. You still don't. We didn't look it up. And I was doing a whole theme of blue manga shirts. That's gone as well now. Now, what gets me, <laughs> and it got me before. Gotcha. A portion of our bourbon is rested in quarter cask barrels and married with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Yes. We talked a lot about how much of a portion. What are we talking a about? A portion and then married? is rested. Right. It's, it's a lot of adjectives. Yes. <laughs> it's not very clear. We need right. some we need some yeah. regulations. Yes, yeah, we do. There's resting and portions and marriage involved. Yeah. So so we know a portion right. of this was was married. temporarily put in quarter oak casks, which are smaller. As if it's sleeping. Right. Right, and the sleeping. I believe version. most are like 11 gallon, 11, 9, 11, 13 oh, gallon, no. yeah. a quarter cask, something in there, yeah. in that range. And it, and it, it allows, slumbered there. It allows more whiskey to oak uh, yes. intervention. Right. Interface. Interface. And it ages quicker. Yes, there's more wood to the whiskey contact. So we know a portion of this portion. has been quickly aged in quarter casks right. in varying well, it's, sizes. It was, it, was, it was allowed to slumber. It's to slumber. And, and then it was rest. put in with the rest of the Knob Creek. Well, it was conjoined. Or, bourbon. Or connected or married. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 267. Uh, now, what would be better if this was all, if this was all, if this was all just quarter oak? Right. Why wouldn't it just all be quarter? Could just it have been oak. over oaked at that point in time? Maybe is that the concern? I don't know. It's too woody. I don't know. I don't mean, either. I don't know. So, but yeah, a lot of words and a lot of a lot of marriage and resting, which those two don't go Whew. together. <laughs> nice cinnamon. Get cinnamon gets you right out the gate. Yes. Cinnamon. Cinnamon and and, and, and some vanilla. And maybe a touch of rye. This is 50% ABV as Which well. Which is a nice ABV. Oh, yeah. Light rye. Knob Creek rye. I think I mentioned in the first time we shot this that the whiskers are start, starting to get in the way. And oh, I, man. I just worry I'm going to have an errant whisker. Maybe it'll rest in the in the liquid. Our uh, workplace did encourage <laughs> No Shave November and continued it into Do yeah, It Again it's, it's December. Going, yeah, do It Again December, so I'm doing it again. My wife loves it. Mm. I don't know. Yours? Mm. She like it? She don't care? Mm. She hasn't said, but mm. nice palette. Smooth, creamy, caramels, cinnamons, vanillas, oak. Really nice bourbon flavors. A lot of oak up front. More than I usually enjoy. Again, if you like the oak, you'll like this. It does move into some nice popcorny caramel. Popcorny? Popcorny. We're going to go with that. Popcornish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> popcornish. I'm going to stick with mm -hmm. popcornish. Mm -hmm. It's like a popcornish pepper ball. Because I get pepper, like rye pepper on the end. I get the root beer candy too, you get once in a while. I, 
I think, see, I would have called it, I see what you're saying. I would have thought more Coca-Cola, mm. not that there's a Coca-Cola candy. Yeah. Yo, you know what? Bottle caps. That yeah. cola bottle yeah. cap is kind of what I get. Dry, okay. but cola. Hmm. A little bit of cherry. Slight rise. Really, uh, I like it. I, it's a good palate. It's a little dry. Dry and dusty on the finish. Water is definitely, I'm going to do a bunch here. You can give me a big old straw shot. Bam! Like a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if that does anything to it. Mm, nice it's, finish. It's, At 50%, the last sip that I took, it's still there. It's still going. Really saturates everything. It is everything. still going. Vanillas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cream still. That is. The finish is nice. You're right. As you yeah. said that, I haven't sipped again since. And I still get hints of the cola, the vanilla. Yeah, there's the a lot of cream. notes that are still coming yeah, out. the finish is great. Mm -hmm. yep. The up front's a little woody for me. Hmm. What are you doing? I forgot my iPad, mm. but before I have used my phone with my doodle buddy. Your doodle score. buddy. That's the app. That's the app. Doodle buddy. I said I need my doodle buddy. And Doody friend. What I was talking yeah, I was about. Like, doodle buddy. Well, you got some friend you go draw with or something. You just make little doodles. <laughs> you got a little buddy. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see. Clear. There I like the go. higher ABV here. Gross. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a solid dram. I'm going to say it one last time, though. If you like the wood, the oak flavors, I think you're going to love this. I think it'll pump it up for you on your personal score if you like it. For me, 87. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> What'd you, you scored a 110? <laughs> mm. It's really good. Really nice bourbon. Nice notes. Nice finish. Again, I don't know how much of this portion of this is rested in yeah, quarter cast. Yeah. Um, they should have used nestled. You know what it kind of feels like, though? T um, just take a Knob Creek, you know, a 50% or Knob I Creek. I like Knob But Creek. do the Michter's Toasted Barrel finishing to it that kind of smooths it out and rounds it and brings in some of those extra toasted notes. It kind of feels like what's going on here. It's almost like a, a Knob Creek Toasted Barrel. There, how's that? Yeah. Mm. I don't remember now, Toasted Barrel being as oaked, though. Yeah. More now, what gets me, I do remember talking about before, is how you can suck down Ardbeg 10 mm -hmm. like nobody's business. Mm. Suck it down. But there's too much oak in some bourbons. Yeah, I do remember us having that conversation. Yeah. I dig the smoke. How your palate can handle. No, more than handle. Seek. The peat. Yeah. The strong pea. It's the desire. I just stuttered. The young, the desire. strong pea. Yeah. The higher the PPM, young, the better. PPM it, baby. But you're like, eh, too much oak. Too much oak here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm not as big into the oak. Yeah. I, it could almost go down. <laughs> the finish here is great, though. I like the cola notes. I like the cream. But the oak up front mm, does not fit my palate. Yeah. If they'd maybe mm. used mm. a second fill barrel. It fits my palate. Yeah, it's it good. does. It's yeah, good. It does. Good bourbon. <laughs> oh, it's good. All right, we got a traveling dummy, Warner mm. Glass. Warner Glass is like our default. Oh. He's like our he's like a traveling man. A dummy syndicate. Mm. A dummy branch. Branch. A uh, tributary. What would you call <laughs> your uh, he's like our emissary. He's our dummy emissary. Ambassador. Well, maybe I don't know. an emissary goes forth. I don't know. Ambassador. Warner Glass is a world traveler world for tra sure. Right. He sent two pictures here with cask five coin two fifty eight. Look at that. In the background is the iconic old iron bridge, yes. Icerner Steg, over the river Main in Frankfurt, Germany. And when I first saw this, before we filmed either the first or this now redo episode, mm -hmm. I said, "There's no way that survived World War II." Yeah, you know, you said, "How did that? Yeah, how did yeah. that There's survive?" There's no way. There's no way. Warner Warner goes on to to explain: built in 1868, right, destroyed right. in World War II, Boom. and rebuilt in 1946. Nicely done. Yep. 
Uh, but he's got a picture on the bridge uh, with it looks like a church mm. in the background. Beautiful stuff. There's some pigeons <laughs> roosting. And then one from the ground Love looking up shot. at the at the yeah. bridge itself. Yeah. Yep. Very Perfect nice. shot. Very nice. A hell of a target. Um, is it worth it? We didn't talk about price point here. This is, and I'm sure I knew it then. I mean, it's fifty, fifty-five dollar range, something That's like that. That's a good price at a yeah. good ABV. Yeah, yep. I think it's worth it. It's good. Now, I Obviously. think the value I'll bring to this review is that if you like the oak, I think you'll re I think you'll score it like he did. If you don't, it's not even that you'll strong score it oak. Like me. It is. It's not even that strong oak. Oak forward. That's all I'm saying. That's why they watch, baby. <laughs> Go to scotchtestdummies.com, check out our merchandise, help support the show. Go to Patreon and check us out as well. Boom, Patreon's good. Oh, on a Patreon note, now I'm not going to show a close-up, but some people know that, so 2018, we did this little Christmas card for our Patreon followers. This happens to be you and I on a child swing set, and I'm pushing you, and mm -hmm. you seem to be having fun. By the fireplace? Yep, no, no. Nope. Karina's yeah, in there. a little bit. Karina, the Chupacabra's there. Then you're pushing me, and it seems like more of a struggle. <laughs> so these go out uh, Christmas oh, cards yeah. What? oh wait yeah, yeah these, these go out that's old right. that was, that Christmas was cards go out to one. our Patreon supporters and then if you join throughout the year I always get extra and as you join throughout the year until they run out uh, I continue to send them out to new folks so this year we've got Cherished Memories 2019 baby and they are precious shots from when we were mounted hmm on horseback <laughs> and uh, those will be going out got a lot more photos in there um, and we had Eddie B Eddie B if you haven't seen that show that was a good show it was the makers mark makers, RC6. yeah staves extra staves. mounted dummies is it mounted, mounted dummies, dummies, dummies and makers mark. check that out yep. Eddie B gets what I call a double shot it's a double shot in there and I, I'm telling him he needs to come to our next 12 hours of boom I think that would be great. As long as we caffeinate him. Yeah. He, he likes to be caffeinated. Eddie B does not need caffeinated. Oh, he needs it. Just drives him up. So join Patreon to get in on our thank you Christmas card, mm -hmm. Memories 2019. We've also started trying to increase our uh, the benefits there of being a Patreon and right. providing more exclusive content just to our Patreon right. folk. So we're trying to do... We move quick hitters over there. At least two different things, maybe two total or two different thing, videos a piece. Maybe Content. I'll post two, maybe you'll post two per right. month yeah, of just slacking, uh, Patreon exclusive. So. Yeah. Oh, we just I started. So. True, true. And then we want to do more lives too. I love doing yeah. the lives just for the Patreon people. They ask a lot of personal yeah. questions and we answer them. <laughs> Scotch it. You Scotch guys. Solange. Dummies. <laughs> that dummies was right on cue. <laughs> <laughs>